Good morning, and we begin in Baltimore with CBS News correspondent Wyatt Andrews. Wyatt. Good morning, Bob. Related to the demonstrations here in Baltimore last night, there was a much different attitude yesterday, especially compared to the violence that we saw on Monday night. The difference in that mood came directly from the charges that were filed against the police on Friday, the six officers involved in the arrest of Freddie Gray. Thousands of people marched on Saturday, first assembling around City Hall, then occupying an intersection in northwest Baltimore close to Freddie Gray's home. Plenty of anger was expressed, but there was also celebration due to Friday's arrest of six police officers on charges that range from assault to second-degree murder. In a community not used to the arrest of police, Christine Forbes of Baltimore said it's about time. A lot of times they don't be held accountable for their actions, so it was a kind of surprise, but a justice was served, I believe it was served. I heard your call for no justice, no peace. Your when Baltimore's top prosecutor, Marilyn Mosby, announced that criminal charges were being filed, the reaction on the street was unreserved joy. But reaction from legal experts has been more critical. Defense attorneys familiar with the charges say Mosby faces an uphill climb in court. I don't believe she has a slam dunk path to, to a conviction. Ben Herbst, a Baltimore defense attorney, says the toughest case to prove is against Caesar Goodson, the officer driving the van when Gray was fatally injured. Goodson was charged with second-degree depraved heart murder, a charge that requires the state to show that Goodson injured Gray on purpose. Do we know that the officer made extra actions that, that showed a depraved heart? I don't believe we do at this point. Extra actions like slamming on the brakes? Yes. Still, the fact that charges were filed at all drained some of the anger from the streets. Baltimore's police commissioner is Anthony Batts. And now we have the confidence that the truth will come out and the truth will overcome for all. The violence may be over, but Baltimore will likely remain on edge as these charges and these officers head toward trial. And now Freddie Gray, the man who simply ran from the police on the morning of his arrest, becomes the newest symbol in the national conversation about unequal justice. Bob? Wyatt Andrews in Baltimore.